Now, to consider evidence further, um, we're going to get into rules of evidence and, and other things here. But um, there is uh, one issue uh, that is important um, in a variety of ways, and that is discovery. Um, discovery is not, uh, <laughs> as the name would uh, suggest the actual investigation, but rather, if there is any evidence that you wish to present in court, you must, in a process called discovery, disclose that information to the other side. Now, this is particularly true in uh, a criminal case. Um, if you do not disclose information in a criminal case uh, prior to the, the beginning of the trial, um, very often you cannot present that evidence. Now, if the, if the evidence comes up, uh, you know, uh, in the course of the trial, um, you know, or very close to the trial, uh, then you can present the evidence um, not to the the court as such, but to the judge and the opposition, and you know, ask permission to uh, to introduce this this evidence as, as new evidence. Uh, but you know, if if you knew it all along, uh, then no, the you know the court is is going to say you you did not disclose this. You know, you cannot present this. This um, has some interesting ramifications uh, for you in terms of your investigation. Um, any notes. Uh, that you take in, in terms of the investigation. If you want to rely on them in court, you have to disclose. And so, for example, um, investigators uh, often uh, carry around a little notebook to, you know, note down names, phone numbers, details, facts as uh, they arise um, so that they have them, they have them written down, it's not just, I think I remember somebody said something like, um, and, uh, you know, it, you may wish to use your notes to refresh your memory in court. Now, uh, it's, it's better not to in many cases, because if you want to use your notes, you have to uh, disclose those notes to the other side. So, if you want to use your notes um, and you are going to have to disclose them because you may be covering other areas that you don't want to raise as evidence, don't need to, uh, then uh, what you need to do is sort of prepare your notes by, uh, you know, making a photocopy, blacking out the facts and issues that you don't want to cover uh, that aren't relevant to what you're talking about and make sure that uh, that, you know, a, a copy of everything that you rely on is presented to the other side. Again, you know, this is part of the discovery process. Um... So, uh, you know, that's, that's part of uh, evidence, and, and that's an important part of discovery. Um, again, uh, uh, all these court cases that I uh, was part of with regard to uh, patent trolls, um, the, uh, I believe I've mentioned the story where... Uh, I was called to give evidence. Um, I 
uh, went through the discovery process. And in the discovery process, the lawyer from the side that was hiring me, uh, who was there, um, you know, telling me what to say and, and not to say and, and that sort of thing, um, uh, made a mistake. And the other side caught it and, and knew it. Now, you know, in this case, this was kind of, you know, inverse discovery in a sense. You know, it, it was during the discovery process. We were disclosing all the evidence that I was presenting, uh, as well as who I was and various other things. And um, they did not disclose uh, or even mention at the time that... Uh, uh, the side that was hiring me, their their lawyer had made a mistake. Um, and that wasn't presented until the last minute in the court case. And the, the judge went ballistic. But it did, uh, apparently, uh, it, whatever mistake it was, rendered my, uh, the discovery process uh, invalid enough that I was not called to give evidence. Now, uh, the side that hired me won the case anyway. Um, I, I, it was a, uh, a really interesting process. And uh, from my perspective, uh, I can only say that the, the other side in the case was going through all of these games uh, purely to make life difficult for the side that hired me. Um, because they, you know they did not really stand a chance of, of defending themselves in, in the court case um, of asserting their claims. So, um, you know, why, why they played these shenanigans, these games with the legal system, I don't know. But there are the rules uh, in regard to what you can do with evidence, how you must present evidence, how you must disclose evidence. There is this process of discovery. And, and you know, in that case, that was, a, that was a civil suit. That wasn't a criminal case. So discovery does apply, uh, possibly not to the full extent, but um, it, it still does apply in civil cases as well. So um, you need to be aware of that requirement.